Hey guys, it's Shadow, and welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm here with a trophy guide on how to get the Abnormal Energy Bill achievement in Tagger Totem. And for this trophy, you're going to need to light up all the totems in a single match. And so, with these totems, there's going to be an easy, a medium, and a hard challenge. But once you see this guide, they should all be pretty easy. So the first challenge that we got here is to kill enemies with snowballs. Snowballs scattered all across the map. As long as you're not at the end of the round, you should be able to do it really fast. So go ahead and do that one. And go and hold square on the totem when you're done with it so you can start the second challenge. And for this uh, totem, the second challenge is going to be to get lighthouse trap kills. And so there's actually three locations for the lighthouse trap. There's the one where I'm going to do it at. I think this one's the easiest personally for me. There's also one behind the boathouse next to where the Pack-a-Punch will spawn in. And then there's also one on the beach. And so that one is going to be like where you used to spawn in on the old Call of the Dead map. And this challenge from the totem is kind of hard just because you can get trapped really easily because you're not allowed to step in the beam of the light because it will eventually kill you. Uh, but once you're done with that, go ahead and head back to the totem and start the next challenge. So the next challenge is to do the SOS messages that are scattered across the map. There's two on the boat, one right there, which I'm going to do right now. There's one down here in the artifact storage, and you're just going to head down over there. And then we also have one by the lighthouse. You could probably see it in that little glimpse, but it's right there. I'm just going to throw snowballs at it to complete it. Really easy challenge. It's really not that hard. I don't know why it's considered a hard one. thought it was way easier than most. Once you're done with that, you'll get an ice pick to break the ice easier. So the second one, we're going to go to the forecastle. The first challenge is to kill enemies standing still. Really easy challenge, not too hard. Second one is to kill enemies with melee attacks. I chose to do it with the bowie knife because I thought it was way easier to do that. You could probably do it with the sword uh, just to make it a little bit easier on yourself. Uh, but the last challenge is going to be to get food ingredients for the soup. So there can be one right there, one on the counter, and one right under the table. I just stood there and I picked it up eventually, it was, I don't know the exact location of that third spot, but I just went right there. Then we're going to find some cabbage, it's either going to be right there, or you're going to go across the way and you'll find it in a little barrel to my right, you can see a glimpse of it right there, turn around, there it is. And then there's also a third location, it's right across the way and it's going to be on a little uh, barrel and you'll just pick it up from there. Next we're going to the boathouse. There's the ribs right there. There's also going to be one to the left, and then there's going to be one in the kitchen. You're just going to place them in the pot and then throw a snowball at it, and you're all done. Go ahead and hold square on that totem, and you will be all set for the second totem out of five. And this one's just going to give you, like, 100 armor. Next, we are going to do the one at the lighthouse station. First one is to get headshots and collect the heads. Just hold your interact button, and you'll be able to pick them up. And you're all good with that one. Next one is to get shield bash kills. So just melee enemies with your shield. And you're all good with that one too. And then you're going to pick up P jars. And the lighthouse. And I will show you guys exactly where those are. Make sure you do what I'm doing. And you get to the end of the round. Close to the end of the round. Just make sure there aren't a lot of zombies. Because it will be tougher to do this. One reason is you're not allowed to run. You can't run with these P jars. I don't know if you can take a zipline, I'm not sure. You can get hit by a zombie, but you just cannot run. Okay, you will hear a very clear break. When you break it, it'll go like the clearest glass break noise. And they're right there, right in that corner. Uh, right there, I'm just doing the Easter egg step. Don't worry about those dials. That's if you want to do the Easter egg. Um, so I chose to go around just to make it a little bit easier on myself. But you're just going to the beach, and then you're just going to hold your interact button to release it which I will show you what spot to get in and we're just gonna run down there not run walk down there and then uh, we will pour down the pee into the beach it's really not that hard as long as you're not doing it in the middle of the round you'll be perfectly okay and here we are we're almost there we're just gonna pour the pee into the beach water I guess so just hold your interact button wherever you are in the water you could do it right there I just didn't know how to do it but there you go I just completed it and now you're going to want to head back up top and you're going to uh, complete that one. And then you're going to head over to the frozen crevice to do this challenge. First one is to kill zombies while standing in freezing water. Really easy, not too hard. Second one, we are going to be getting uh, shattered frozen zombies. And the way to do that is you either get a, a headshot or you just throw three snowballs at a zombie. Really easy, you just walk right through them and they'll shatter. And this part make sure you have subtitles on for the third challenge 
he will sing I guess it's singing but he's just gonna hum five notes mine were C A G G and E and you're all gonna sh you're gonna shoot these bells in the spawn area of the map so really quick here is C all the way back there there is A and then G is gonna be right to your left where you hit that one and it could be different for your game just so you know and then E is right there on that little hook go back over to the totem hold square on it and you are done with the fourth out of five totems for the game next you're gonna want to head up to the facility once you're at the facility you're gonna head over to the right side of the facility and hold square on that totem so this one is fling zombies so what I did is I went over to the nav navigation part of the boat and I just stood there waited for zombies and then just flung myself over just rinse and repeat that until you get a complete once you're done with that head up to the totem and hold square on it now you're gonna do the second challenge for this totem and this one is to kill zombies while riding on a zip line not too hard as long as you have a good weapon I had the cordite so it was really tough to get a shot with an SMG so try to have an AR for you uh, then hold square on it and you're gonna start the third challenge which is to play a whack-a-mole make sure you do this at the end of the round also really tough one if you have a lot of zombies around you so I had a fire zombie walk in throw a snowball at this target and then you're gonna start the whack-a-mole game really easy it should only take around five to eight snowballs to complete and then you will be all set to go on the fifth and final totem it's not that really long of a game but it'll be all good don't worry about it it'll be fine next you're gonna want to head over to the lighthouse once you completed all five challenges he will lower down the board pick up that key and right next to you you'll be able to open up that box hold your interact button and then you'll be able to get the thunder gun not the tundra gun but the thunder gun and that is a guide on how to complete all five totems and how to get the thunder gun in togder totem thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed leave a like hit that subscribe button and other than that it's been shadow peace